All right, folks, one more day and we are getting into the Memorial Day weekend. This is ultimately, you know, the official start of the summer season. And summer seasons usually rhymes with a lot of fun, a lot of spending, a lot of, you know, entertainment spending, especially as we get into movie theaters. And as far as MC is concerned, there is a really, really great catalyst coming in starting this weekend. And I'm talking about Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> Man. Just by watching the trailer, I think I watched pretty much a dozen of trailers of this since they, got, they came out on YouTube. And I am so itching to go in in an AMC theater and watch this movie because it seems to be pretty damn, you know, put together, you know, in terms of, you know, the montage and everything. But don't take my word for it because I want to share with you some things that are actually being very bullish for, you know, the show squeeze here. Now, I'm looking here, I'm reading here from this blog. The box office predictions, Top Gun Maverick likely to soar to Tom Cruise's biggest opening weekend. Biggest opening weekend. We're not talking about the Mission Impossible. We're not talking about, you know, the, the other movies he made in the past. We're talking about the biggest in terms of box office numbers. Another blog is, you know, giving some numbers. In terms of projections, all right, Top Gun Maverick is projected to gross over a hundred million dollars domestic and a hundred and eighty million dollars worldwide, and its opening weekend both career highs for crews. So I couldn't wonder, but kind of you know, spend a little bit of a time here thinking about what does it mean for me as somebody holding AMC stock. Well, first off. Great news because it means people are going to just flow into theaters. Why? Because on one hand, it's summertime. So school is almost over both for, you know, high schoolers uh, 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 and uh, um, elementary schoolers. So they have time. You know, they have time. And this is a family movie. You know, it's a family movie. So not only will bring back nostalgia, uh, nostalgia of, you know, people that saw the first one that came, uh, came out, what, 30 years ago? I don't know, 20, 25, 30 years ago. So it's going to attract a lot more audience than some of the movies we've seen in the past. All right. So expect some very good numbers because box office numbers at the highest of Cruise career speaks volume for a company like AMC in terms of income. Because next quarter, I mean, next earnings release for the quarter to come, at the second, they're disclosing that for the first time since 2020 or since, I don't know, since how many years, um, they are profitable again on the quarter based on, the no on these numbers. Man, this is going to run so hard despite short squeeze happening in between. Why? Because it means... Once and for all, this whole narrative about AMC being in the brink of bankruptcy, AMC not surviving, you know, theaters being dead, etc., etc., is totally gone. So not only it means short sellers are doomed, which we already knew, but also it means a lot more people buying the stock, which is happening and has continuously happened for the last quarters. So something to kind of keep in mind because as I mentioned, very, very interesting, especially as we look forward for this next earnings release into uh, um, coming from AMC and the show squeeze as whole.